This is a training video on some of the basic editing functions found in Video Surgeon version 2. In this video, we're going to look at these first four functions, which are delete, cut, copy, and paste. The other two, volume and silence, we'll deal with in separate videos. So let's just walk through each of these and briefly describe what these do and show you what they do. Beginning with delete, if we select a portion of the video, and if we have the channels unlocked, and you can see that the little padlock signs are unlocked here, if we click delete after we've selected a portion of the video, that portion of the video is deleted. It's simply removed. And that's essentially all the delete function does. I'm going to undo it so we can see it again. Now, cut essentially does the same thing, except it both removes this section, but it also places a copy of whatever you're deleting or removing or cutting in this particular instance. It places a copy of this data on your clipboard, so you could subsequently paste it somewhere else if you wanted to do that. And that's really the only difference between delete and cut. So let's select cut. And now it is copied a piece of that data right there. If we wanted to insert that data, we would now go to paste. And there is that piece of data that we previously had deleted. It's pasted it in there. So that's the difference between delete and cut. Um, let me undo both of these again. So let's go back to this setup where we have selected a bit of data. So the next thing is copy. What does copy do? Well, copy simply copies this data, but it doesn't delete the data. So it is sort of like cut, except it doesn't remove the data. It simply copies the data that has been highlighted. And paste doesn't delete. It doesn't copy. It simply takes data that is on your clipboard and inserts it at the point of the progress indicator, this little blue upside down triangular marker here. So that's what paste does. And that's therefore a quick review of these four buttons. Now before we leave, we need to briefly discuss these two padlocks down here and how they work. Essentially in a video, you have two channels of data. You've got the video channel and you've got the audio channel. And these functionalities work on both channels simultaneously. However, if you were to lock both channels and then try to execute any of these functions, you could not execute them because the data has been locked. And that means that the program blocks you from doing anything. However, if you unlock one of the channels, it will execute these functions on the unlocked channel, but not on the other channel. So if you think about that, Let's go ahead, for instance, and delete, and we've got the video channel unlocked. So if we delete, what's it going to do? Well, let's go ahead and look now. So it removed or deleted the video piece of this, but since the audio channel was locked, it did not touch the audio data. And if we undo this and go back and switch the padlocks, now we have the video channel locked, but the audio channel unlocked, and if we delete, you can see what it does is it deletes the audio data but not the video data. So anytime you exercise any of these functions up here, you need to keep in mind that typically you may do this with both channels unlocked. I'd say that would be the most common, but there may be situations in which you want to lock one channel or the other and therefore only exercise this function on the unlocked channel. And that's what these little lock symbols will do. So that will conclude this training video on these first four basic functionalities in the editing functions of Video Surgeon.